sunroof. This is a girl car? Oh, this is the one, Tom. I'm telling you. I told you you got a sunroof. It looked like you got the captain. You got bent. Got good tires. Huh? Look, four wheel drive, heated seats. You know what? Can you put it right here? Is this tire stock? Oh, let me. Um, no, yeah, it's in park. It's in park. Yeah, they said it, dude. No, no, hey, look. Check it out. Let me pull a jump to it and then you can just drop it. I got the little box. Oh, shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, bro. Damn. I called it. Big YouTube top of the morning, man. I'm up here at Costco getting some gas real quick. I can already tell. I'm literally, I'm just waking up. Made a video at the G Body G Body event yesterday, and man, I was just super tired. Hope you guys can tell in the video. I'm actually super tired right now, but I'm in a mood to make a video, so I'm gonna make this video. Uh, as you can see from the title, I bought a 2005 Z71 Tahoe from the auction yesterday. I got my alarm put on it, so um, after I finish filling up this gas, I'm gonna go uh, take it to Costco. I'm not gonna do a full review because it's like already freaking dirty inside because you know tools and stuff like that. But I am gonna show you guys what it looks like and um, I think I got a great deal on it. I've been waiting on one of these for like, it's been a minute since I last had one. Um, it's been about like six years. And yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what it is, man. This thing is greedy too. We're gonna stop at about 60 bucks. It was on the quarter of a tank. Yes, sir. For those of you that's wondering where I'm at shooting this video, I'm in Lakewood, California, right here at Costco or Lakewood Mall, I guess you could say. Super nice area, super clean, man. Um, and once again, this is gonna be my vlog of my the first video introducing the 2005 Z71 Tahoe. Uh, long story short, bought the car, uh, bought the towel from the auction. Um, we bought it from the auction. Me and my uh, big bro Tony, uh, y'all remember him from uh, from the last video, the C20 and all that. Um, actually, I bid it on it. This is what happened. I bid it on it, and I stopped. All he was like, "You done bidding?" I'm like, "Yeah, bro, I tap all that's it." He bid it 200 bucks more than I did, and he actually ended up getting it. So I was like, what the hell? Um, I wasn't tripping on it or whatnot because I knew I was going to get it anyway. If he got it, I knew I was going to get it. So he actually ended up letting me buy it from him, which was super dope. Um, we already knew the hood was wrecked. So we went to the junkyard. I should have recorded that too. We went to the junkyard the day that we picked the Tahoe up and got a new hood. But let me just start off showing you the damage that it had on there. And then we'll kind of go from there. All right, let's get it. So. It was wrecked here and I'll, I'll put a small little clip in it as well. It was wrecked here. And since we already gonna show the damage, I might as well pop the hood on this thing. I have not done anything to this vehicle yet. When I say I haven't done anything, hey, what the hell? Oh, I thought it had some Taylor wires. It got some AC Delcos on there though, that's cool. So, when uh, this car belonged to a woman, she uh, it says it got towed for I forgot what it said for no license, no having not having a license or whatnot. But um, I don't know if she wrecked it, but somebody wrecked it. So basically, it was pushed in here. You guys can see where it kind of like I guess dented the fender. It did not mess up the frame at all, none zero. So um, and it's actually weird because I was checking the car for for rust and all that. This is actually. It was a California car, but the lady bought it. When I did the Carfax on it, it was in Texas. So they bought it from California. Somebody drove it to Texas, and now it's back in California. But there's no rust on it. Everything is super good. We don't have rust issues in uh, California or whatnot. So I'm grateful for that. Um, the car was hit here in the front. So basically when it was hit here, it effed up the fender. So we basically tapped it out 
and um, pulled on it, got the, the bolt in here. So now the hood is actually able to close. It cracked the reservoir, so we had to go back to the yard and get a brand new reservoir. And uh, aside from that, that was pretty, um, oh no, the other damage is here. It broke the headlight, the headlight bracket. I'm not worried about the headlights because obviously all that stuff is going to be new. When I get some money, I'll buy all that stuff. So if you look right here, see if y'all can see that. Y'all know I'm not too, too spiffy with this camera. So it broke the headlight bracket right there. All this stuff is going to be replaced mainly from the junkyard. The junkyard only charges about, uh, I think, 13 bucks for that bracket. I'm going to replace the whole bracket. It broke the grill from the hit. I will be replacing this grill with an OEM grill, not that billet stuff. It looks okay, but I don't like it. I want an OEM. It messed up the, the upper bumper pad. I'm going to go get this today. This is going to be uh, 50 bucks, And the bumper is actually completely... Uh, completely like shot Let's see oh, there you go the bumper is completely effed up so this is 150 bucks he also has this bottom piece brand new for 150 bucks but this one right here looks pretty salvageable i'm not about to uh yeah i'm running out of monies man i don't got no more monies so y'all make sure y'all like subscribe and show love hit the thumbs down only if your ugly ass is a bum and that basically will give me some more monies uh so that's all the damage that's there um it has 184,000 miles on it, but I believe when we was looking at the auction, it said it had 189. But yeah, it has 184,000 miles on it. And get my tripod real quick. You guys don't know this, my camera setup box. Got it up in it nice and pretty, make sure nothing don't break. Shout out to my boy Mike. My boy Mike Palmer actually bought this for me, donated it to me. He said, hey, I believe you, man. And yeah, he gave me this. Thank you, Mike. Whew, that feels way better. So uh, I guess we can walk around, and I'll tell you all the options. This is basically, I've been waiting on this thing. When I said I've been waiting on this thing, I've been waiting on this thing. I wanted a 2006, but I said I'll settle for a 04 to 06. <clears throat> the reason being is because... The reason why I said I would settle for a, uh, a 04 to 06 is because 2000 to 2002, it had like the bubble, it had like the bubble, uh, I'll, I'll post a picture right here, it had like the bubble, ugly uh, steering wheel, it has the ugly console, I hate it, didn't like it at all. 2003, they switched up the steering, they switched up the steering wheel, switched up the console, but a lot of the steering didn't have controls on them, so I was like, I need a 2004 at minimum. So I was gonna get a 2004 to 2006. This one actually is a 2005, but I said if I buy one, it had to be fully loaded with every option that I wanted. So what I mean by fully loaded, uh, I'll actually show you the car and I'll point out every option that this one has. This one is fully loaded. There's no other upgrades that you could have done to this one. And like I said, it's only, don't, I'm not trying to make it seem like it's some fancy car or whatever, but for me, this is one of the um this was on my to-do list right here man it's it's a 2005 it's paid off i don't i'm saying i don't owe nobody nothing for it. i'm not doing car notes on it or whatever i like them because they're old they still look a, a they still look pretty modern they're decent they're nice and they're big ass tanks man we had a 2007 suburban and i just hated that damn thing it was cool but i just hated it man this is the one i've been wanting i finally got it so let's get back to it so i can explain to you what i mean by fully loaded so we're going to start off with the outside. <clears throat> the Z71 obviously has the roof racks. It has the, the step ladders. It has the, uh, the, the moldings for the flares and all that good jazz. Come with that nice Z71 uh, logo in red. It's a uh, four-wheel drive. Ooh, this thing, bum. Y'all y'all know. This is something light for y'all, but this is something big for me. But uh, it's, uh, it's two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Uh, it has uh, the tow hitch on the back, obviously, for towing purposes. I think this thing can tow up to, like, 10,000 or, I don't know, I'll look it up and let you guys know. Um, it has your hookup for your towing, and don't judge me. I haven't cleaned the car out yet. Today, I'm doing the, um, the uh, oil changes. I'm going to be doing a leveling kit and buying all the little stuff for it. Let's start it up so I can show you guys the miles on it. I'm going to do, like, a super, as you can see, whoever had the car took care of it looks pretty damn good but i'm going to do a, a steam clean in here get all this dirt and stuff out of here 
Trying to show you guys the mileage. Mm, there we go, right there. Start right up. No check engine light. Change oil. And then there we go. What the hell? 184,499 miles. So basically, once I start driving, I'm about to be at damn near by the end of the day i'll probably be at 185,000 miles the oil pressure sensor does not work but that's not a big deal i can correct that um has heated seats and yes they work heat your ass up it has heated seats i'm glad i seen the door was locked because my ass is known for that but it has heated seats it also has adjustable uh adjustable uh pedals I don't know if you guys catching that or not. But it has adjustable pedals for you short peoples. It's a uh, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Obviously, that's like for off-roading and stuff like that. It has the turn signal mirrors. Black, black, black. Both sides. I'm so in love with this thing. It has a factory TV up there. Not super big. I'll actually go to the back and show you that. It does work as well it's not super big but I mean hey it's a TV that works I wouldn't even upgrade it, it this would just be what it is and uh, has the uh, AC controls back here also you can individually put the headsets in for the TV while still listening to the stereo cup holders in the back like I said it's still dirty carpet dirty I'm gonna steam clean all this stuff it got all the dang AC vents in the back. Like, the kids feel every... If it's heat, they're going to feel heat. If it's cold, they're going to feel the coldness. This is the main thing that I wanted, man. I love my damn captain seats because my, I don't, I don't want to have to deal with flipping the seats back and forth, back and forth. They can hop their little butt in and jet to the back. Got the third row seat in the back. And, I mean, honestly, dude, like, yeah, it has a couple cracks and stuff like that. But if you guys really look... This stuff was taken care of, man. I'm about to do a detail on all this stuff, do some leather treatment, and get this thing back to where it needs to go for the carpet and stuff. But check out the door panels. Man, they're A1. I'm going to be installing LEDs in those. Get the cap for that one. This is going to be like, honestly, I'm going to do a gang of junkyard runs to get all the stuff that I needed for this one. Um, has a functioning sunroof. Bye, y'all. Show that ball spot. Talk to me. Um, the mirror, all of them has the mirror with the uh, little controllers and whatnot. And man, this thing is just super dope to me. I just, I'm just happy to have it. Uh, it does have some suspension issues. I think it's going to be the lower. Uh, this thing quiet as hell. You hear that? Sewing machine, electric fans, AC works, heat works. I have to get this fixed though, man. This front end is killing me, man. It's, it's messing up my sexy. It's hating on me. The tint that's on here is, uh, I hate it, man. It's super crappy, but it's not a big deal. Go to downtown LA, have them hook your boy up. I don't know if you guys can see right here, but pretty much, dude, like the whole car is like bubbling. The tint is uh, bubbling. I believe I am going to do like the dark is pretty, the back is pretty nice. It's dark, but I don't know, man. I'm really thinking about just uh, blacking out the whole, taking this old tin off, even the back, blacking everything out. Oh, yeah, in the back. I forgot to show you guys this. I got a gang of twos back there already. But um, it's not barn doors. It's actually the door that swings open. That third row seat lays down. It has a bolt system in here. And it has the digital AC, baby. Not the analog looking one like my Silverado has has a digital uh, AC all the seats is 100% you know I don't know how many ways it is but the seats get cracking forward back upside down side to side all that got the back uh, massagers in there I'm not great at reviews but um, I'm doing my best like for example I'm about to answer this phone Ty what's happening Shit, nothing much, man. I'm over here making a video, you know what I'm saying? Tell you two what's happening. What's happening? 
I'm over here uh, doing a vlog on this uh, on the Tahoe real quick. I had a question about the your uh, your uh, your front suspension, but let, give me like two minutes. I'm gonna hit you right back. All right. Yeah, that was my boy Ty right there. Uh, he actually has a 2000 in. He has a 2001 Z71. Actually, I'm gonna do a video with his because man, his Tahoe has long tube headers on there, has a cane in on there, has dumped exhaust with Magnaflow mufflers. That damn thing is a beast. And his just so happened to be black as well. But uh, speaking of Silverado, I am gonna be doing a raffle on my Silverado house soon, uh, very soon actually. The only thing I'm trying to figure out is. Uh, if I want to do 250 spots or if I want to do 200 spots, I forgot this damn thing was on. It's so damn quiet. And uh, the second issue that I'm having is when I do my YouTube live, uh, my YouTube live from my phone, it sounds like crap. It sounds so damn bad. So I have to find a way how to maybe get my YouTube live from this camera going because this camera shows like crystal clear. I don't want nobody saying, hey, man, you didn't pick. I didn't hear you say my name. I don't want no issues at all. And I have to make sure there's no interruption. So maybe, I don't know, I'm going to have to just YouTube it and figure it out or Google it and figure it out and uh, get to it. But pretty much, man, that's the end of this video. Uh, my 2005 Z71 Tahoe that I bought from the, um, that I bought from the auction. And uh, I put about 300 miles on it just to test it out, make sure everything's good. I'm actually going to flush the radiator because... <clears throat> I'm going to flush the radiator because when she when she hit it, it cracked the uh, what's that thing? It, caught, it cracked the reservoir. So by doing that, we just added some cooling in there. So I'm just going to drain it all, make sure we bleed the system properly, get that done and out the way, and then um, I'm going to flush that system, do the oil change, spark plugs, uh, most likely MSD or Taylor wires, and I do want to buy a cold air intake for it, but that's like three hundred dollars. And I told y'all, man. I'm running out of monies, po man. And uh, I gotta get some more of these swaps done, trying to get some more of these cars done. I'm actually still looking for a shop, man. I have a lot of changes coming to the channel, man. I got a lot of updates for y'all, man. It's just, you know, I move in silence. As Meek Mill say, gangsters move in silence. And I don't talk a lot, I don't say a word. I don't say a word, I just got on my grind and got what I deserve. Hold up, wait a minute. I'll leave a, I'll leave a, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description below if y'all wanna check that song out. But, uh. That's pretty much it, man. Let me know if y'all rocking with it. Uh, let me know if y'all like the Tahoes. Let me know what year you got. If you got a Tahoe, Yukon, Denali, whatever, let me know what you got on yours. Let me know what kind of mods you got on yours. Uh, this one right here. Um, I'm putting some rims on this one, too. I ain't got no monies, but I'm going to put some rims on this one, too. This car is going to come together. This SUV is going to come together super quick. I'm basically going to black this whole damn thing. I already got an idea in head in, in my mind. Uh, what wheels I'm going with, of uh, what wheels I'm going with, what headlights, tail lights, uh, everything. I already got it in my head, so I'm just gonna have to put it down. I've been playing this out for too long, so that's pretty much it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, update on the wagon. It might not be the update that y'all that y'all looking for, man, but uh, I'll be put posting an update on the wagon pretty soon. I just got a lot going on right now. I'm trying to get some stuff situated, but honestly, man, I'm kind of getting tired of building cars. I'm up to like. I got a lot of cars, man. I got a, uh, I got a lot of cars, man. I got like eight cars right now, dude. We're nowhere to put them at. So honestly, man, the way I'm feeling, hell, I know I said I wouldn't sell a wagon, but I, I'll probably mess around, pull a dry train to sell a wagon too, man. I'm not into building cars right now, not for myself at least. I need to get all this. I need to get to a place to where I have the property, I have the space to build my own projects to where they won't get stolen that's my main thing of worrying about is uh one of my cars getting stolen that'll piss me off you know what i'm saying i put uh, hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars into it just for somebody to get in a couple seconds so i don't know man i think this tahoe is going to be my baby for right now it's already 100 percent running and driving doing everything it needs to do so i'm not really tripping on no cars right now any who's like, subscribe, and show love. Hit the thumbs down. Only if your ugly ass is a bum and get your paper. Because I need to get some too. Ooh-wee.